Hey YouTube, do you want to learn how investing in yourself at the rate of return of 1% a day can bring you phenomenal greatness and unimaginable results? Stick around and I'll tell you how. If you started off with $1,000 on January 1st and you earned 1% interest on that $1,000 and that interest kept getting reinvested back into the original $1,000, at the end of that year, you'd have $37,783 to be exact. Welcome to my channel. This is The Real Teddy Talks, where I educate you on entrepreneurship, your hustle and your grind, and creating generational wealth. Today's video is going to be about getting organized, staying organized, and automating the process. This is part two of my five-part series. Unfortunately, this is being played third because for those of you that have been following my channel, I just traveled from the US to Egypt and my internet wasn't quite right, my uploads didn't go well, so the third video, which was Creating Atomic Habits, played yesterday, and today I'm playing what should have been the second video, which is Getting Organized. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You're going to get all five in five days. I don't think the order really matters. Now, this isn't going to be your average video about decluttering, uh, living your best life in your space, finding the objects that bring you joy, um, getting your whole life together and organizing your house, all that. This video is the bare minimum way you can get organized so that you can start your 365 day exit strategy. You can start a business, feel better about yourself, live your best life, whatever it is. I'm going to give you the bare minimum so that you can get started. You can hit the ground running and get where you're trying to go. If you need that full organization of your house and all that, then you should watch Marie Kondo on Netflix. She does a great job of kind of figuring out what brings you joy and giving you that thing. So let's get into it. The very first thing you need to do to get organized, stay organized and automate the process is declutter your immediate surroundings. The place that you are going to create your greatness is what needs to be decluttered. Now, whether that's your room, your office, your desk, your kitchen table, whatever it is, you need to make sure that space is clear of clutter, free of things that are bringing you negative energy, drag, all of that. And look around those spaces and see if you see anything that brings complete negative energy. Were you given a gift by your mother-in-law or your father-in-law and you can't stand them, but it's sitting on your desk and so every time you see it, you're reminded of that person that you don't care for? or that person that stresses you out, get rid of that thing. Actually, just throw it away. Why are you keeping anything around you that's bringing you negative energy? Do you have a plant that keeps dying and you keep replacing it and it's reminding you how you don't have a green thumb and how unsuccessful you are? Throw that thing away. <laughs> get you a fake plant. Get you something else. Get you a plant that's going to live no matter what you do to it. Don't keep anything in your immediate space, especially the space where you're going to create greatness that's going to bring you negative energy. In your house at all. If you have anything in your house that's bringing you negative energy, aside from a person you can't get rid of like your children, you need to get rid of that thing. Those stacks of paper that everyone has in their office or on their desk or on their kitchen table, the mail that you haven't gone through, all of that, you need to learn how to get shredding, you need to tear it up or just throw it away if it's not private and important and get it out of your space. If it's been sitting in this pile for six months or a year, it's likely you don't need it. And I alluded to this earlier, but if you have someone in your space that's bringing you negative energy and they're cluttering your mind and cluttering your space, other than your children, I keep saying that, and I'm being funny, but I'm being serious, then you need to probably think about getting rid of that thing, get some counseling with that thing, or talking it out with that thing. Because no one that's constantly in your area bringing you negative energy is going to help you achieve your greatness. I assure you of that. That segues me into my second recommendation, which is to touch it once. It is those things that end up in piles all over your house. What was bad for me is mail. I get a lot of mail and a lot of it I need to keep, some of it I don't need to keep, and I'll bring it in the house and I'll open it up and I'm like, oh, I need that, and then I put it in a pile. And then the pile gets this big, this big, this big, and it's a stack of papers that I haven't gone through and I need to do something with and I need to put them somewhere. So lucky for me, as I just told you, I move often, so I get the opportunity to go through all of those piles of paper. So my recommendation to you is when you get something important in the mail or you get something important from work or you print out something, once you touch it in your hand, you need to deliver it to its home. If it needs to be in a file cabinet or a file box or a folder, you take it and you put it in that thing. 
If it's a credit card or a debit card that needs activating, you bring it in your house, you take that sticker off, you call that number, you activate it, and you throw the rest of that paper away. If it's your vehicle title, you just paid off your car, you bring that title in, you open it up, you scan it into your computer, you take it to Kinko's, you scan it so you have a digital copy, then you take that important document and you put it in its file folder. Most things we don't need to keep. Most things are electronic. Bills, statements, bank statements, taxes, all of that can be kept electronically, back it up to somewhere that's outside of your computer. So you have your computer, back it up somewhere else and get rid of it. You honestly don't need it and it's cluttering up your life. Touch it once. Another bad problem I have is email, work emails. We all know I'm transitioning from my day job. So in my day job, I get an absorbent amount of emails, most of them unnecessary. So what I implemented at work was I have email time. And whether that's an hour, two hours, or three hours. And when I'm checking my email, I'm not answering the phone, I'm not looking at my cell phone, I'm not letting people walk in my office or walk in my space and disturb me. It's email time. I open up that email, I read it, I respond. And now if I open up that email and my response is waiting on another response, I answer it as best as I can, and then I put it in a to do later today folder. And that is it. Once I've responded, I move that email out of my inbox into a completed folder, and it's gone forever until the next thing comes up or the next question comes up. There's no reason for me to keep these emails in my main email box. I try to keep my main email box very short and full of only things that I need to take care of that day. Very few things carry over, some do, I know, but for the most part, I respond to that email and I get it out of my box. So I'm not looking at it and it ain't looking at me. The third recommendation I have is to detach from distractions. Whatever your distraction is, whatever the thing is that keeps you from living your best life and achieving your goals, you need to detach from it. If it's watching television, maybe you need to take the TV out of your room or out of your living room or at least unplug it so you have to actually physically go plug it in to watch it. If it's your phone and you're in your area trying to create greatness, you need to leave that phone outside of that area. If you're like a lot of people, especially like millennials and Generation Z, and you keep everything on your phone, your notes, your whatever, then you need to download those things to your desktop or to your tablet or whatever device you're gonna actually be working on, print it out, put it on a piece of paper and then shred that piece of paper, whatever it is, so you have your notes in front of you, but not that distraction. The vibrations, the pings, the dings, they're all gonna keep you from staying focused on what you're trying to do and staying focused on being organized and living your best life. If it's your family, if it's your kids, I have two small kids, I keep saying that, and my husband helps me detach from them just long enough to create these videos, to get work done, whatever it is. He's supportive and he helps me out. And you need to have a team around you. You need to have someone that's there to help you get it together and live your best life and create greatness. And if you don't have someone around you that's helping you create greatness and they're around you distracting you from greatness, you can do bad by yourself. You need someone that's there and riding for you and helping you achieve your goals. Those that aren't helping you achieve greatness should not have a seat at your table. You're the master of your fate. Don't forget that. And my fourth and final tip of the day is to start planning out your day, your week, and your month. Preferably at night, right before you go to bed, you need to think about the next day. Think about what you want to accomplish. Think about what you have to do. Think about what you can push off to another time. Think about what's important and what's not. You need to set your intention. That's the most important step of this. Like I said, the night before, maybe the morning of, right when you wake up, right when the fog clears, you open your eyes, you get up, you set up, or you lay down and the fog clears and you're fully awake, that's when you need to figure out what needs to happen that day. Set your intention, say I'm going to accomplish this thing and that thing and another thing. And those three things or that one thing or those two things, you need to make sure that you accomplish. And during the day, you don't let anyone or anything steer you away from accomplishing those goals. There will always be endless amount of tasks that you need to accomplish every day. And those tasks are usually multiplied throughout the day. You need to be in control of your time and control of your surroundings and control of the things you do. If there's that one or two things you need to do, you need to not let anything deter you from completing them. Learn how to say no. I've said that before. Learn how to say no. If saying yes is going to detract you off your goal, then say no. No, period. It's a whole sentence and there's no explanations needed.
In closing, I've given you four tips to help organize, stay organized, and automate organization. That was to number one, declutter. Number two, touch it only once. Number three, detach from distractions. And number four, start to plan out your day. And then once you plan out your day, you can plan out your week. And once you've mastered planning out your week, you can plan out your month. Start small. And eventually those small adjustments turn into big adjustments. And those small adjustments can add up to unimaginable greatness. Invest in yourself and reach exponential greatness. Do small things to achieve phenomenal change by the end of the year. The thumbnail attached to this video says, how do you turn $1,000 into $38,000? Well, that's a bit clickbaity. Making 1% improvement every single day for a whole year can bring you 3,778% return on interest. If you started off with $1,000 on January 1st and you earned 1% interest on that $1,000 and that interest kept getting reinvested back into the, the original $1,000, at the end of that year, you'd have $37,783 to be exact. Off of $1,000 with 1% growth every single day, you are that $1,000, you're $10,000, you're $100,000. If you consider yourself $100,000 and you're earning 1% interest on that, at the end of the year, that'd be 3.7, almost $3.8 million. You are your greatest investment. Bet on yourself. Forget everything else, bet on yourself. You're a guaranteed win. Put 1% in every single day and watch that interest grow and grow and grow. And at the end of the year, you'll be a whole new you. Bet on yourself, everything else. That's all I got for you today. Come back tomorrow where I tell you how to prioritize stress management. This is The Real Teddy Talks, signing off. Listen.